Hey everybody, doing some more Mountain Blade Warband. We're gonna jump back in with Hernandez Punch Stick. We were all we were all talking about how tall we are and how much we weigh and how fucking buff we are. We're a bunch of uh, beasts, all so strong, as you can see in the chat. We're all so tall and so strong and handsome. Uh, we're actually the sexiest online community in the world. Except for me, because my mustache won't cooperate today, and <laughs> all the hairs keep sticking out. You probably can't see it on the camera, but my mustache is a fucking mess today. I keep using my little mustache comb, and today is just not cooperating. Hitbot's back? Yeah, I think it was busted for about a week. It was on maintenance or something. Alright, we last left off. We were mostly just leveling, fighting, um, sea raiders, and I kind of think we just need to continue that. Because right now, um, equipment-wise, we're starting to really work our way up. Money-wise, we're looking good. We really need to upgrade our equipment. I forget, what was it that I didn't upgrade on Rolf? I think I was having him- oh no, I forgot to level him up, okay. Um, usually, if there's still a star like that, it's just I'm intentionally saving skill points on them for when they pass a, th pass a threshold so they can upgrade everything I want them to upgrade. Um, Rolf was one of my fighters, wasn't he? Or was I having him go into medic stuff? Let me just double check. Mm, Borcha was my tracker. Oh, it's not showing up here because he doesn't have higher than anyone else. Um, you. What was I having you work in? You're military. You're hardcore military. I don't have, like, a dedicated medic yet. And I could do that with Rolf. He has a very high natural intellect. At the same time, he's got a lot of potential as a warrior. Whatever happened to Manbar? Do you mean Wrestler Manbar or this game Manbar? Wrestler Man Bar, you see in one week from today, because one week from today is when WWE 2K18 comes out on PC, same day that I'm streaming. Fucking perfect. I'm so pumped for that. I want to see how it goes. Um, MDB, who's the sec second sexiest community in the world? Mm. Do you have mustache cream? No. I have mustache wax. I just rarely use it. Um, Wolf Den Live's audience. There you go. Hey, MDB, how many tad points on average do you get per day? Sent the first packet yesterday. Hope it helps. Thanks. I really appreciate it, especially because um, the application on the phone's been glitching out for people recently, so people have been having a hard time sending tad points if the income's really gone down. Um, how many are sent average per day? I actually don't know how many are sent average per day. Yeah, I don't really know. Uh, how am I? I'm doing okay today. So we're just trying to, trying to figure out how we want to level up Rolf right now. Um, I could potentially make him a really good medic. He has a lot of intellect right off the bat, so his cap for that stuff's high. And he's already got a point in surgery and first aid. And plus, every time we give him a point of intelligence, he gets an extra skill point. So he's getting two points in it. At the same time, he's got such potential as a warrior that I kind of want to level someone else up to do that for me. Someone in the chat get that Heroes Tactics page of the Mountain Blade Wikia open open for me. And when it shows the two groups that you can... Uh, like, there's a group of five and a group of three uh, on that page of Heroes. I'm going for the left side on both. So if I run into someone, I might ask you guys, like, what I should go for there. You never beat the 2K17 story mode. Or did you miss it? No, I, I never beat it because it was so samey to the previous one that I didn't bother and people didn't feel like watching it. So I thought I'd wait for this one, because it's looking very different in this one. Uh, it looks like you had to buy a lot of the moves to unlock them in the story mode, which, you know what? I'm kind of cool with. It makes it more RPG-ish. So we'll see how that goes. It might mean that Manbar won't wrestle as much like Manbar in the beginning, but it'll work out in the end. I think I'm going to go to the warrior path with this guy, so we'll start pumping into agility. People seem to think that strength is the most important stat often for, uh, for a warrior. Nah, get your strength high enough to wear your armor, then pump it into agility. Because shield skill is so good for staying alive. Uh, just pour into one-handed. And right, he's got javelins, a sword, and a pretty lame shield. He doesn't have a horse or anything yet. But he's got pretty good armor for stuff that I can... At least good armor for what I'm fighting. You ready, MDB Ask Away? Thanks, I appreciate it. I'll make sure to ask you the next time I see some. In fact, we're just going to hit up the tavern real quick. Keep getting the um, Tad ad where Goldberg jumps from the window. What? 
like Gobert, like the wrestler. That's awesome. Okay, Watchmen have a really good upgrade path, I think. That's not a bad price, actually. I rarely hire mercenaries directly from Taverns, but I'll take that. Because they have a sweet upgrade path into Hired Blades, which are awesome. Now, I put the Watchmen in my Archer troops. Norm By default, they're infantry. I put them in Archers because I don't want them to die, so I can turn them into Caravan Guards and then later Hired Blades. You can go Mercenary Crossbowmen, but they kind of suck. Their upgrade path is not nearly as good. And we're leaving the Sea Raider landing around because it'll keep spawning Sea Raiders to attack. We've cleared out a lot of them, so they're showing up in smaller groups. They, they aren't uh, they aren't so unified, which is good. I don't want them unified. Alright, let's do this. Hey, Alexander. Ooh, I don't like being in a mountainous area, so I immediately tell them to all to follow me, by the way. Uh, is this hilltop a good place to defend? Reasonably. I wish that other hill wasn't there. Everyone hold that position. Infantry, advance 20 paces. Cavalry, follow me, and we'll get ready for a charge. <laughs> did you see that? That was a good javelin shot they did. Okay, we circle them. We're gonna get rid of their... Uh, get rid of their ranged weapons on the lowlands. Good, they're facing us. I want them facing the cavalry right now. I don't want them facing the rest of our army. Our archers have the high ground, and they're facing their back towards us, so they're likely to take some arrows to the spine. And while we have an opportunity, let's go take out one of their long bowmen. There we go. Trying to keep them from counterattacking. Come on. Ah, I couldn't sneak in a shot. In fact, I hit the tree there. Did not see that coming. Didn't see what coming. Come on. There we go. The archers are the most important people to take out of sea raiders right away. Because they're going to run out of ranged... Uh, uh, they take much longer to run out of ranged ammo than the regular sea raiders. Okay. We got to get a longer circle going here because my troops are starting to run through the middle. And I'm afraid of them not finishing the charge. Serenade Master Archer took someone out there. That's good. Okay, they're starting to scatter a bit. We can start getting more aggressive. They don't have quite the shield wall going anymore. Yeah, we're picking them off fast now. Broke a shield at least. Yeah, we're getting good at this tactic now that we have good archers to back us up. And uh, pretty heavy cavalry. Uh, was that? A Mameluke took him out. Knocked unconscious. Nice. Okay, and I'm telling my cavalry to charge at this point because most of them are, are pretty much doomed. There we go. Is that all of them? Or did one run? No, that was all of them. Nice! That was a really good round. No casualties on our end. Eight Sea Raiders captured for selling. And a new helmet. That was a good round. And some bent javelins. It's really easy to each be able to throw javelins. They only need one level of power throw. And I like giving my infantry some ranged attack when possible. I don't like that his body armor is so poor. This is a little better. Nah, he doesn't have any power throw skill. You noting my... Oh, that you're there? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I try my best. It's uh, I don't have a chat liaison today. Mandy's pretty busy. Best peasant faction? Oh. The best, like, low-tier dudes? Uh, probably the Khanite, because their peasantry has uh, armor, which no one else's peasants have, and they have a chance at having a horse, which no one else's peasants have. So they're the best at the base level. But, you know, of course they get better. But if you're just going to mass up a ton of weak people, then that's who you go with. Uh, pet javelins? No, I said, um, bent javelins. Unless I misspoke. Oh, you don't even have a shield. There you go. No, it doesn't have the power throw. Uh, you have a bow, so you can just stick with that. Rolf already has it. Borcha, do you have power throw? You do not, so you just have a pile of rocks. <laughs> Forgot I have him throwing rocks. 
Oh, that's lame. Is what I have, though. Should we hit up uh, Werchegg, maybe? Yeah, let's hit up Werchegg. Hope for a slave trader. Don't like fighting too much when I don't have room for uh, taking slaves. Because then I'm just kind of missing out on opportunities because I get a lot of knockouts. They have a feast. I don't care. I'm, I haven't... I haven't done anything with their army. Oh, Jesus. This is a terrible place for me to be. Okay, reposition a little. We're going to have to go archer heavy here. Yeah, the cavalry is going to be basically useless because I'm in a mountain. Archers, or infantry move forward to create a wall in front of the archers. Good lord. Cavalry can keep following me and I'm trying to get out of the way. Hey, archers, you want to come up here? Yeah, archers, climb up here so you have better view. Ooh, this is a rough place to fight. My cavalry is useless here. Okay, draw my sword for swiping. And be ready. Where are they? Cavalry, Jesus, get out of the way of my archers. I don't see them yet. Our dudes were firing some shots earlier. They must have gotten behind a mountain ridge. They are advancing on us. I want them to go into that valley there so we can just rain arrows on their head. What does the tactic skill do? Oh, every two points of it, you start in a more advantageous position. It's not amazing, but I'd never, I would never like reject it. It's nice to have someone with tactic skill. I like that a lot of our infantry had some throwing weapons to throw as well. Wear down their shields, if anything. Yeah, I know, right? This map is insane. Here they come. Horse received damage. Oh! Okay, one of uh, their sea raiders got killed on the mountain. Oh yeah, their sea raiders who have bows are getting slaughtered because we're outnumbering them easily. Come on. Infantry, just gang up on the people one by one, slaughter them. There we go. We got them drastically outnumbered. I don't know why they're bothering. Like, their bodies are covered in arrows rolling down the hills. There's only two left. Yeah, turn your back to the archers. See how well that goes for you. Okay. Climbing down a mountain. Come on. Oh, did we knock him out? I bonked him with my horse and it knocked him out. <laughs> well, no casualties. I thought I was gonna lose somebody just due to the map being so shit. Some soldiers are ready for upgrades. We have a warrior able to become a veteran. That's always good. Those Nord veterans are so good. And they become Huskarls, which are just ridiculous. Slave driver into a slave hunter. Good. They get a lot of knockouts. Five caravan guards. Badass. I think I'm gonna... Ooh, do I need them to become mercenary swordsmen? To become hired blades? What does high tactic skill do? Oh, have, just having a lot of tactic skill just means you start in a really advantageous position. I don't know how the algorithm works, though. Hmm. You should train sword sisters. Yeah, I do have sword sisters going. I got some huntresses, which become camp defenders. Camp defenders become sword sisters, and they're very good. Sword sister, I'm also going to make you an archer, just because I don't want to risk them dying before they can become the really badass class. So they can hang back with their crossbows in the archer line, because those are still pretty useful to me. We actually pay a lot in wages now, because we have a very well-trained but small army. Slave hunters become slave crushers. Yeah, you wouldn't think crushing a slave would, would you know, doesn't that fuck up the resale value? Um, so, Jetstream, you're on the wiki, right? Do me a flavor. I need you to go to, what was the class already? I've already forgotten because I am so incompetent. What was the thing I just got? Caravan guard? Caravan guard. What do I upgrade a caravan guard to to later make it a hired blade? It's mercenary swordsman, right? Never played this game for very long for the same reason. Oh, what reason? Because it gets repetitive at a point, maybe? 
Um, I do really like this game. You know, a, a thought I was having, now that we got like 45 of you here, um, I'm sure somebody will be able to help me with this in the chat. Um, survival games. They're, you know, there are like a lot of like MMOE survival games out there now. I get sent them all the time by developers. I get sent like barely even started games all the time with, oh, it's got it's crafting elements. It's just like a Unity flip and it's garbage. But the two that have always seemed the most interesting to me, here I'm looking at before I asked, um, are Ark Survival Evolved. Looks really cool. And, um, what's it called? Life is Feudal. Uh, I think it's called Life is Feudal Your Own is the one I'm more interested in. Is anybody in the chat, like, an expert at either of those and could get me into that? Because I want to get into those, like... Uh, Life is Feudal Your Own, I played a lot of kind of in the background, just on my own private server to learn the game, but that was a long time ago. That was like two years ago. So it's probably a lot better now. Oh, the no texture valley. Va valley, not valley. Fuck, that's what I should have called it though. I'm gonna hang on to some javelins. Actually, you know, no, it's not that big a deal. I was gonna hold on to them and, uh, Get some people some power throw skill, but it's really not that important. You have 1,227 hours on Life is Feudal Your Own. I might hit you up about that later. Isn't Ark out on console? It might be. There's an MMO coming out for our Life is Feudal. I've played a little bit of Life is Feudal um, Forest Village too, which is... It is a blatant ripoff of Banished, but it's pretty fun. Ark is amazing, says Morgan. Have you played much Ark? Uh, maybe you can help me get into Ark, and Jetstream could help me get into um, Life is Feudal. Because they both seem really cool to me. <sighs> They're still not selling any of those badass Huskarl shields. Fuck is my luck. Um, I really want to get some plate mail at some point, but it looks like they're not selling at the moment. Alright. Um, I could always check their trade goods, but honestly, I don't give a shit. Let's just sleep for the night. Oh, it's dawn. Okay, well, let's march. Arc is a bit, um, con controversial. Why is it, uh, what's controversial about it? I've always heard good things about Arc. Let's go down to Sargoth. I don't like going too far out of the zone of the dudes I'm fighting, but whatever. Chance of Huskarl shields. I'm actually not losing much money to wages thanks to having that town paying me uh, tax money. Blue Hole, worst name for a company. That is a pretty bad name for a company. Aren't those the people who make uh, PUBG? Because I heard those developers are real asshats. Bitching about how another game's coming out with a mechanic that they also have that they are not at all the first to do. Yeah, I, kn I know about Ark. I know there's, like, laser guns and this crafting and you tame dinosaurs and shit. I've seen some. Um, got 640 plus hours in Ark, but it's been a little while since you've played. Conan is very similar. I remember Conan was played for, like, a week. <laughs> and then and then everyone got bored of uh, just having floppy dicks all over the place and played something more fun. Apparently, it wasn't that great. It just had a lot of dicks, and so people wanted to play because that's funny. That's what I've been told. I don't know how accurate that is. People don't like early access DLC. Yeah, I don't blame people for not liking early access DLC. I can see that pissing a lot of people off. I think it all depends on the individual game to me. Have you ever heard of Rust? I can't... I, I, who hasn't? It's like one of the most omnipresent games back in the day. I, I had it like back when it still had zombies in it. Uh, book Merchant. Do I want a book? I think my intelligence in my character is actually pretty high. It's a 9. That's not bad. I think I need 10 to learn uh, the book Essay on Logic. Yeah, you need 10 for that. And Sam Logic gives you another intelligence point, which is pretty nice. Um, Isn't there one where just... There's a few where just holding it gives you... There we go. Plus one boon treatment if it's just in your inventory. That's pretty good. Rust had zombies? Yeah, back in the really early days, it was a zombie game. 
I have not played it in probably four years. You know what? I don't feel like I have the spare cash to go dropping it on books yet, when I don't even have my armor in check yet. Alright, we've done our little loop. Let's get back up to the... Actually, you know what? Let's hit west a little bit more. Wait, did I check this place for Huskarl Shield? I believe the shield I'm looking for is called Huskarl Shield, but I recognize it if I saw it. I don't remember it ever being nearly this hard to find, though. Is Day's Head still in fucking early access? I remember, I, I only ever played it when it was an Arma 2 mod, and that was pretty fun. Surprised we never got the zombie expansion on The Sims. Uh, it did. In Sims 2, you could be a zombie. I don't remember what expansion it came with. Um, it might have been the business one. Which, the business one, man, was that a fun Sims 2 expansion. That was great. Love starting your own business in Sims 2. God, I'm not finding anyone that I want here. The cavalry shield. Yeah. All right, heading back to Rivacheg. Jay's head got crafting at some point. What the fuck doesn't? I like the idea of crafting. It's just a lot of games don't do it well. They just have it because it's like a checklist, you know? I hate that shit. Sims 3, Supernatural had zombies. There you go. Two had supernatural shit. Three had it. I think four might have it. I don't know. Four feels so devoid of content to me. That's why that playthrough ended pretty quickly. Oh, Ransom Broker! Hey, I was looking for one of them. Thanks for following, Alexander. Welcome to the flock. Boom. That's a lot of cash. So they might have actually restocked their inventory, which would be nice. Apparently I can't do it from that menu. Can't do it just in this building. But I can do it there. Huskarl Round Shield. Fucking finally. Have you played State of Decay? Uh, by the way, State of Decay looks awesome. Yeah, uh, State of Decay looks awesome. Yeah, I got playthroughs of it on my channel. State of Decay. Huskarl Shields are so good. Yeah, I want this. That's not even expensive. Military Cleaver is much better than my current weapon. Yeah, that's a badass weapon. I'm taking that. I don't care if it's expensive. That's a badass military cleaver. All right, uh, battered Huskarl round shield. Look at the size of that thing. That'll keep me protected from arrows. Okay, now let's compare these two. Oh yeah, I'd rather have this. That's better. There we go. And uh, let's sell off. Both of those make a tiny bit of cash back. Have any plate mail in here? No, I don't think these people tend to sell plate mail. You usually get that in like Swadia. But I do want some plate mail Look at, at some point. I'm rich. It's payday, fellas. Thanks for the one buck there, Etra. He says, uh, Warbick, I'm the worst. I Warbick, is that like a pun? I don't even know what's a pun on. But I accept your one dollar. Uh, right, we were already in there. There we go. Slept till noon, and our health is perfectly fine. Just so making sure we were healthy before the hunt. All right. You know what? I'll go head to head with you. I almost double you. Oh, nice! Fighting on flatland. Let's take the hill. Guys, out of my way. I'm trying to position so we don't die! Oh my god. Guys, good lord. There, and then advance 20 paces, cavalry, follow me. There we go. They're getting into position. Look at the size of that shield. I can barely see past it in first person. That'll keep the arrows off of me. I need another one for my back, too. I love this shield. The biggest shield that can be used on horseback. Okay, I gotta get some of these guys paying attention to me. Cleave a guy. Yeah! There we go. Now that we got two badass weapons, I am way less concerned. It's a little bit of a guessing game using your uh, spear 
or your lance at this point. But look at how quickly I'm killing dudes now. Ooh. Really lose some visibility. Yeah, come at me. There we go. Missed. Got him. Oh god, we're gonna lose a guy over there. Ooh. Nope, I, I think I bumped something. Caravan guard got killed, fuck. God, we must be getting hit back up there. I'm pretty sure our caravan guards are all set to the archer group. Hey, cavalry, get the fuck out of there. We gotta run. There we go. Uh, sorry, I'll read that uh, message for Lefty in a second. Ooh, I might not get him before he hits the edge of the map. Oh, he didn't go down. Holy shit. Got him. Uh, I'll tell him to charge now. Oh, I didn't have my spear out. I'm stupid. They'll finish him. Okay, I think some escaped. Can you, uh, can you have a shield? Just can't use on horseback on your back still, or does it disappear on your mount? I actually forget. I might want to put a tower shield on my back, like a road oak uh, tower shield. But I would prefer to have a huskarl shield, because then I can take- if my- in my hand breaks, I can take the one off my back. There we go. That was a good round. So it's mercenary swordsman, right? Just to double check, um, Jetstream. I want to go military swordsman to get them to become uh, hired blades. Just want to double check. Did you know that there is a mini map? Yes, you hit backspace. You've watched me do it. <laughs> it's on the tactics menu. Uh, do I need? Uh, do I another playthrough where you are just a man? Oh no, I do not have a playthrough like that. All right, let's solve these slaves. There we go. Uh, we can sell this for a good amount. Yeah. Need that cash. Boom. His pro tip. To be fair, a lot of people don't know that that's in the game. Mm. Just looking at what's for sale. I still like my balanced jousting lance. I get knockouts so easily with it. <clears throat> Swordsmen's go to hired blades. Thank you. I still want to get a better horse at some point. I still have a stubborn desert horse, which is... I mean, it's actually not that bad. It's pretty good for a low-budget horse. I need a better one. Yeah. The, uh, the, the, uh, sword, or the hired blades, I know, they are, they're on foot, whereas the sword sisters are on horseback. But hired blades are really good, so I want them. Okay. What's my cash like? It could be better. And then swordsman, hired blade, nice. Okay, yeah, I can just stay in the infantry line then. Hmm... I heard your blades, not you, just your blades. I kind of want to head south. Um, whoa! Swati is getting fucked up. I kind of want to go to Swadia. Um, buy some good charger horses. Could get them in the desert, too. At the same time, I need more cash for that. Let's get some more cash. You know what? It's afternoon. We'll see for the night. It's good for morale, after all. Here you go, Mr. Sword, your 200 dinars! Some wars were declared. Well, had one war in one piece, I believe. Uh, troops are ready to upgrade, sweet. Watchmen into a guard, nice. Caravan guards are set to cavalry. I will set them to archers, because I do not want them dying. Uh, best unit that can hold the line 
uh, with their lives. Oh, uh, the best at like just creating a wall, Rodok sergeants. They got these big tower shields and good spears to stop a cavalry charge. Am I really gonna catch up with this? Yeah, I'm actually quite a bit faster. Ooh, I don't like fighting here. This is probably gonna be a mountain. Yep. Cool. Let's finish the avatar crest stitch. Oh, thanks. Sweet. Uh, Savvy, if you post a picture in the chat, will it auto embed because you're staff? If so, post a picture of the cross stitch you did. I want to see it. Sorry I couldn't be there for the stream. I was really busy. I think it might have been on the day I was watching pay-per-views with uh, Fatima and Brandon. Okay, uh, mountain top. God, this is so weird. You can be here, infantry 20 paces forward, cavalry follow me, the usual. And what direction are they in? They're over here? Yes. Okay, the archers are on the high ground. There they are. All right, let's try and meet them. The infantry are creating a wall halfway down the mountain. Get over here. There we go. Oh, we're slaughtering them. Ooh, they messed up my horse a little. Let's not risk our horse dying. Let our dudes finish him off. Here we go. He's fucked. Wasn't anything too exciting? Got him! Nice! Leveled up. Yeah, Tower Shield versus basically everything Tower Shield wins. The Tower Shield's pretty ridiculous. Uh, the only problem is you can't use it on horseback. The best shield on horseback is definitely the Huskarl shield, which is what I'm using. It blinds you, kind of, but man, it it really covers you from arrows. Farmers don't upgrade their... Or no, do they upgrade? They might. I'll hire them. Peasant women are really useful. Because eventually they become sword sisters. Peasant farmers? Oh, they can watchmen. Okay, they're useful. Put them both in the archer line because I don't want them dying. They can just hang back out of the fight and learn something and level up. Yeah, land shatter someone's head, which is always fun. Image is too large, one second. Okay. Best horseman archer unit and hero. Well, yeah, the, the best um, horse archer is definitely from the Khanites. Uh, and the best hero is entirely debatable, but if you, but yeah, if you're talking about the best hero at horseback archery, the Bahashter or whatever his name is, uh, because he's, a, he's the only horse archer by default, um, for the heroes. And he is quite good. He's one of the better combat heroes. Uh, you know, I'll fight that group of 30. That's pretty good. I like it. That's a nice head you have on your shoulders. All right, we actually don't have a big numbers advantage here for once. Let's back up a little. I want the high ground. My archers need to be up high. Right there. Infantry 20 paces forwards and the cavalry follow me. We need to run over there and try and wear out some of their range attacks before they reach the infantry line. Okay, the archers are on the high ground, so they can easily fire over our infantry. Okay, we circle them a few times just to make sure that they run out of, uh, out of range weapons, and then we advance forward a little bit more to make sure that our archers have a clean shot at them while we fight. So we're just trying to ride close to them and freak them out. Damn. Come on. There we go, got a knockout. Trying to make sure that they think I'm a threat. Yeah, they're starting to scatter a little. Yeah, now they're throwing spears at me. Okay. Ooh, a few of our guys crossed through the middle. They might get knocked out. Yep, we lost a slave hunter. Alright, gotta make sure the ones very close to us aren't just slamming into us. Okay. Well, 
Oh, I missed him. I was gonna say that's what you get for going alone. There we go. Got that guy. Okay, yet yeah, they're spending all their javelins and their throwing axes. This is good. There we go. I saw he didn't realize it was too late. Hey, better than anything I could do. There we go. Took out an enemy archer. That's important. Okay, we're losing, or we're, we're knocking out a lot more than we're losing. So this is worth it. It looks like they're out of throwing weapons. At least the majority of them are. I didn't mean to run into that. Ooh, that could have been bad if they were closer. Yeah, cavalry, get out of there. They're getting scary. Got one of the archers. I don't like to weave through the middle, because although I can pull it off, a lot of my dudes following me might not. Oh, we lost a Mame Luke. That sucks. He's dead. Mame Lukes are really highly upgraded troops. Damn, didn't get the lance down in time. Ooh. Ah. That's another reason I don't like crossing through the middle. Sometimes you slam into your own people. Doesn't hurt them, but it stops you, and that could really fuck you up. Okay, this is going well. No, you're not escaping. That was a massacre. It's the best tra uh, trainer hero. Oh, um... I mean, there's, I think there's like one guy who starts with decent skill in trainer, but really you could get anyone to do that. It's easy. Ooh. Yeah, I like that more than my armor. That's really good. That was a good fight. Leveled up. Okay, we already have 13 strength. I don't think we need any higher, so we're just gonna get a point in agility. Vlad the Impaler was from, uh, he, you can actually get him on your team in with Fire and Sword. Okay, we can get a riding skill up to 6, which would be pretty badass. Shield skill. Yeah, shield and riding. Our shield is pretty awesome at this point. And again, I just pour into one-handed because I use one-handed a lot less than I use polearm. Polearm will go up on its own quite a bit. Sir Parade the Impaler. Ransom Broker. There we go. That's some good money that I can probably use to upgrade some dudes. You are hurt, but you leveled up. You... What do I am putting your skill in tactics? Um, Your leftovers... It never hurts to go into trainer. Yeah, get some trainer skill. So it always helps having more people to train our troops. She's now a follower. That's already archer line. Good. And you're both watchmen, which are already archer line. Sweet. So you have three more people using crossbows. Prisoner management will get an extra 500 an hour per fight. That is true. That probably would be worth it. Because I'd be able to carry more prisoners to sell. Oh, uh, I don't want to sell two of those armors and one helmet. Because I believe that's how many I needed to equip my dudes with. We'll double check here. No, okay, you need armor. There you go. Probably want to get him a good crossbow at some point. Oh, everyone else has armor and a good helmet? Yep, okay, we can sell the rest. Oops, uh, you do not have as much money as I'd hoped. Let's sell to this guy. There, he had the cash. Master of Crossbow. I need a good Siege Crossbow. There we go. There's a Siege Crossbow. Requires 10 strength, but I'm sure I can get that with some people. Siege Crossbow is the strongest ranged weapon in the game. Um, can't use it on horseback, though, which sucks. You need 10 strength, which is a lot. But it's crazy accurate. You can launch that thing really far. It's powerful. What female refugees? Because they can upgrade the Sword Sisters in the end. Do you mean, uh... Female peasants? Because I've never seen female refugees. At least I don't remember them.
All right, we'll sleep for the night because we we got some wounded there. Side with the Serenid. We are already part of the Serenid army. We just haven't done anything with them forever because they fucked us over so many times during that last war. That's why we have a village. Is the Serenid gave it to me. No, it says on the wiki. Weird. I know some shits on the on the wiki's out of date though, so I do wonder if that's the thing. If it's like just an out of date name for them. It's Thirty three Sea Raiders. What a fuck it. I'll fight them. Let's hope it's not a mountain. Uh, it's mountainous. Could be worse. Oops. Archers, no infantry. There we go. Um. Archers. Move up slightly. Infantry another 20 paces forwards. I don't like having the infantry that far away from the archers because then people can walk around them easily. But we need to be able to fire over their heads like this. We'll just try and deal with a lot of them before they advance. Get a lot of them aggroed on us. I don't like chasing cattle. Yeah, that quest fucking sucks. Yeah, aim at the cavalry, everybody. Waste all your weapons on us. Oh, my horse is dead. That's bad. Okay. So what I'm doing now is immediately tell the infantry to all charge. This is a desperate attempt to make sure that uh, we can survive this. At least I have really good armor and weapon. Don't want to get snuck up on. Okay, the infantry is charging to try and take some of the heat off of me. This is bad. Ooh, snuck in a stab there. We're good, we're good. I hope my horse didn't die. Okay, good, my infantry is caught up with me. I'm getting the fray. I hate that a lot of us are wearing the same armor as the bandits. Oops, not unnamed. I want cavalry to charge. I just need them on the offensive at this point. What's left? Not much. Okay, we're good. We got this. God, that could have been rough. I wonder how many we lost. Ooh. That was rough. We lost- we didn't lose anyone. Despite 33 fighting 33 people, we only had one guy go down and he was only wounded, not killed. So he'll make a full recovery. That is the best that could have gone, really. Uh, that could have been really bad. Okay. And our archer leveled up. Our horse archer, which we don't have a horse for him yet. Uh, yeah, just dump into agility. And he can hold on to that point. Veteran into a huskarl. Here we go. Debatably the best infantry in the game. It's either him or a sergeant, depending on what you have them doing. For a castle siege, I would definitely prefer a Huskarl. That was su that went surprisingly smoothly. Holy shit, that could have been so much worse. Your horse is lame. They don't always die and they don't always become lame after getting knocked down. See, our horse is fine. He was already a stubborn desert horse before. So, horse made a full recovery. Even though he got shot in the head and ragged all across the map. Belligerent drunk. Oh, I should get my weapon out. I got a war cleaver, dude. You're not there. He went down in two swipes. I did 54 damage on that swipe. That'll one-shot a guy. And that was from standing position. I didn't even have, like, the speed of a horse behind me. There we go. And let's buy a little bit more food for the people. There. Food variety is important because it keeps your morale high. You should probably just tell your cavalry to charge when you lose your horse. Yeah, they get hit in the back a lot when that happens. 
That is true. Because if it was infantry following me, at least they would keep facing the enemy. Yeah, the ragdolls would should have killed them. All right. Um, sleep. We need to heal after that. Because I'm sure a lot of my infantry probably took more damage than they needed to in that fight. Truce is over. That's fine. It's not even a country that I'm in. Soldiers are ready to upgrade, sweet. We're actually spending most of our money on upgrading our army at this point, rather than our own armor. Which I'm not overly concerned about. Jesus, that's expensive. Caravan guard into a mercenary swordsman, sweet. Follower into a huntress. And caravan guard... Good. Just making sure they're still all on the archer line. And we've got a decent amount of cash. Uh, is there still a slave trader in here? No, he just left. Okay. Okay. We can we can check the stores again. Hope for another shield. Just finished 800 tads. Thanks, I appreciate it. Especially how tad seems to be a glitch note for a lot of people recently. A lot of people have been telling me that it's not loading properly on their phones. So, let's hope that uh, that gets taken care of. Ransom Broker, sweet. Never like being too far from a Ransom Broker. That's where I make a lot of my cash. Pretty much doubles my income from fights, having a Ransom Broker around. Uh, grapes would boost morale. I don't really care. Mm, no good shields. And, yeah, no weapons I want. Armor? <sighs> That's way too much money for 11 defense. Uh, mine's 41.8. I want, like, 55, I think it is, for, like, plate mail. I already have battered iron greaves, which is only two below the default highest, which is perfectly fine. And we have crude full helm, which is 50. Highest is 55 on default without upgrades. Um, so I'm I'm happy with what I have armor-wise. It's very high. Switch your cleaver for a mace? No, my cleaver is really good. I don't care about the knockouts, because I already have plenty of knockouts with my jousting lance, because it's blunt. What they might need to do to fix it is re-download the app. Yeah, I have heard that fixed it for people before. Of uh, They just had a bad update, and it didn't install properly. And when they reinstalled, it started working. Could buy some real cheap gloves, but three defense I don't really care about. What do Slave Masters do? They just have a lot of blunt weapons, so they're really good at knocking people out to take them, uh, take them as a slave to sell them. They're pretty good, actually. They're worth getting. How many troops do we have? 38 is still a good number. We need to stay mobile, so it's important. Sleep here for the night. Actually, what horses do you have? Storb Stubborn war horse is not that expensive. Got a good charge on him. A lot of armor. The speed is about the same as mine. The maneuvering is a little lower, but I have a lot of riding skill. I'd rather have the stubborn war horse. And I could keep the old horse in my inventory for the sake of getting rid of some of the weight, or I could give it to somebody. Rolf has got on horseback. I could also give it to this guy, but he has a longbow. Oh no, he can actually use that longbow on horseback. Okay. There we go. We'll give that to him, and we will uh, we will put him on cavalry. He'll follow me. Sweet. I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with this horse. I've got a much sturdier horse now, and one I can do a really good charge through the lines if I need to. I want a better horse at some point, like a, char a better charger horse, but that'll definitely do the job for now. Yeah, I feel like a mace shot to the head from horseback while they're riding would do more than just knock you out. I feel like you would definitely die on impact. It would shatter your skull.
Sea Raiders. Are they faster than me? I can't believe I can outrun such a small group of Sea Raiders. It helps that I have a really good tracker on my team. Skill like six or something really high like that. I will break from your skull. That was weird. The screens went weird. Oh, God. Oh, they're in this direction? I don't want to fight uphill. We got to get up there fast and distract them. Oh, this sucks. How close are they? They're really close. This is bad. Oh, God. And this is like... Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, that and then that. Okay, roll with it. Make the best use of it. We can ride real close. Get them looking at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. There we go. They're throwing at me. That's good. And the cavalry ran right through them like idiots. Great. Fuck. Okay, this is just a brawl. I whiffed both shots. Oh, man. Oh, that guy snuck in with an axe throw. It didn't do as much as I thought it would. You know what? Uh, infantry, charge them. We're so close, we may as well. Oh, our dude's getting messed up there. I'm trying to help him. Okay, at least some of the heat will be off of him now. Yeah, I just gotta use this. I can't get enough of a charge to really get the lance going. I gotta just swipe with my awesome cleaver. Okay, we're slaughtering them anyway. Look at all the blue text in the bottom left. That's nice to see. That was a massacre. Was difficulty setting? Uh, I believe it's just standard. Um, except, you know how it does that thing sometimes where it, like, default makes it so you take less damage anyway? I, I set that to standard. So it's like, it's actually, like, medium difficulty. Uh, I think we can just look at it on the options menu here. Oh yeah, it's Iron Man mode, so no quitting without saving. Um... Here we go, yeah, like, average campaign- the AI is average, the- the damage to player and to friends is normal, which by default, it's more in your favor. Battle size 150 is the highest it goes. There we go. And did I level- no, someone leveled up. No, it was just troops are ready to upgrade, okay. Which I'm fine with. Sword Sister, we finally have a Sword Sister, they are so good. Look at that. That is a badass troop. Put them near the top of my list. Finally got one. We've been trying to train up a lot of them, but they level up reasonably slow. And I don't believe there is a ransom broker here right now. Yeah, the ransom broker that's nearby is West. You see positive says green? Looks blue on my monitor. Could be a difference in our monitors, though. Right, I gotta sell that equipment. All right. And do you have plate mail? No, no, no. Nothing I want. Still looking for slightly better chest armor. How old are you, Dry? You're 13? Uh, I am 25. My birthday just happened last month. Less than 30 days ago. Let me just check a thing. There we go. Been live for about an hour since I started recording. Okay. Um, I'm going to end it here. Mostly because I really am doing a lot of free freelance work for ShoddyCast on YouTube right now. I mean, it's not really freelance work. I'm technically a member of Shoddy Cast, but it's like a weird in-between thing. Alcoholic drink of choice. Uh, I tend to be a wine person, but I really like tequila. Tequila's nice. I rarely drink, though. We don't have that kind of money. We don't have money to go dro dropping out alcohol all the time. Most of our alcohol is just gifts. Um, but I'm gonna end this now. Again, I've been streaming this, like, every Tuesday for the last little while, but next Tuesday, I might, like, move this to a different day in the week, and, um, because next Tuesday, WWE 2K18 comes out on PC on Tuesday, so we're gonna be streaming that on launch day for PC. You'll probably see people doing it earlier, just because it comes out on console earlier, uh, but yeah. I'm, I'm pretty pumped when that game comes out, because I am I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. I really like the roster on it, and the new carry mechanic looks like a lot of fun from what I'm seeing. So, uh, I'm going to go work on some other stuff. If you want to see more of these streams a week, then check me out on TAD, link in the description for the browser and the phone version, where you can watch some advertisements to get me paid far better than I do on YouTube. 
And you get rewards in return for that, like more streams in a week and more videos in a week. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, have a nice day.